South Africa. Internal Affairs Minister Hilary Onek hit the headlines this week in Uganda, when after being treated in Nakasero Hospital in Kampala, he was flown to India to get treatment there. But while I do wish him a speedy recovery, I do think it's dis despicable, reprehensible, and downright freaking outrageous that it's taken this long for Mr. Onek to join the elite club of political VIPs who get medical treatment outside their own countries. Mugabe, Singapore, Chavez, Cuba, Zanawi, Belgium, Yaradu is Saudi Arabia, Patience, Jonathan, Germany, and former VP of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, got treatment in London after hurting his <laughs> knee. We should be proud that African leaders are part of this elite club of medical tourists. Especially because all of these private trips to luxury hospitals abroad are paid for by <laughs> the very taxpayers who have to put up with the brain drain of underpaid doctors who leave their home countries to go and practice elsewhere, like the United States, and local hospitals that are run down because money meant to improve them ends up in the hands of corrupt politicians. I'm telling you, man, medical tourism is hot, son! Hey, <laughs> Charlie, this man is suffering. Not quickly, I'm losing him! Give me the syringe. Here you go, Doctor. Yes! Ah, ah you are too late. Yet another case of corruptivitis. Oh no. Me talking about this next set of videos is way overdue. If you haven't already heard about Niger Runs Girl Lolita, then where have you been? So what's a runs go? Africa, Africa pimping. Nigeria, Nigeria pimping. If you're on a first date and you're asking this type of question, you're a runs girl. What do you do for a living? Does that pay well? Do you get bonuses? Do you live at home with your mum? You got your own house? How big is it? And apart from helping you identify the runs girls out there, Lolita has plenty of tips to help all of you wannabe runs girls. Now, let me tell you what a real money maker look like. It's from medium old to very old. And you get the big pot belly. You're laughing. You're laughing with your lepa self. Do you know what's inside that belly? That's the finest cuisine in the world. You don't get fat from drinking Gary. You don't get fat from eating fufu. You get fat from eating Chinese. You get fat from eating Mr. Biggs every meal. Eh? That man eats like half a goat. So look out for the pot belly and do not, I stress, do not approach anybody wearing a dodgy belt. Let me tell you what a faker will be wearing. He'll be wearing Primark t shirts. Primark jeans, you will now put one small scan scan gushy belt. You two, you will now be looking, eh? Gushy will now be catching your eye. As if you don't see designer finish. That boy has no money. I'll tell you how to spot a real money maker. He'll be wearing traditional. The bigger the agbata, the bigger the bank account. Do you guys remember South African band Freshly Ground? Oh yeah, that was their fun, family-friendly and wholesome hit song, Chicken to Change. Now though, it seems Freshly Ground have been <laughs> Here's the latest um, electro, housey, trancey, surreal, slightly creepy, weird, um, uncomfortable video for their latest track called Take Me To The Dance. That's it. My name is Ikenaz Weekend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another edition of What's Up Africa.